human by day, a winged warrior by night. This is the Funko Pop Disney Gargoyles number 390 Demona vinyl figure. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So as you can see here, we have the Pop Disney Gargoyles number 390 Demona vinyl figure. <clears throat> These Gargoyle Pops did just come out. Um, I found this one in the wild at GameStop. Uh, I was very surprised to find it because I actually found it a few days earlier than it was supposed to be released. So that was very cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Disney's Gargoyles was a animated series on the Disney Afternoon and was later syndicated to I believe it was on Fox at one point, Fox Kids at one point and ABC Kids so <clears throat> Demona started out as a good guy uh, in the opening episode uh, but because of what happened to her clan uh, and the curse and everything uh, she became very wicked. She began hating humans. Uh, Demona was not like the other gargoyles. The curse didn't work the same way on her that it did the others. In fact, she had a slightly different curse to where during the day she would become human and at night she would be a gargoyle. While the others, during the day, they would turn to stone and at night they would become gargoyles. So anyway, on the back here, we have number 389 is Goliath, 390 is Demona, 391 is Hudson, 392 is Brooklyn, 393 is Broadway, 394 is Bronx, and 395 is Lexington. The Gargoyles didn't have names. They took on names in the 20th century um, when Xanatos brought the castle uh, to New York. Uh, none of them really ever had names, but their human friend, I forget her name, it's right on the tip of my tongue, forgive me guys, it's been a little while, um, suggested it'd be easier uh, to tell them apart and talk to them and everything if they had names. So of course they took on different boroughs and stuff of New York City. Uh, Goliath was the only one with a name. Uh, I can't remember if Demona had a name originally or not, but Hudson took his name after the Hudson River. Brooklyn, of course. He, Brooklyn, even though Hudson is the oldest, Brooklyn was the second in command. Uh, it went Goliath, Brooklyn, then Hudson. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. But Brooklyn, of course, took his name from Brooklyn, Broadway from Broadway. Bronx from the Bronx and Lexington from Lexington. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at Demona.
Demona, of course, was one of the only female gargoyles. Uh, the only other one came about uh, towards the end of season two when Goliath discovered in uh, Avalon that he had a daughter. Uh, I forget his daughter's name. Uh, leave it in the comments below, guys. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, but she is the daughter of Demona and Goliath. Um, and I'm surprised they didn't make a pop of her. Uh, she was a, she had a big, pretty big part in the series. And it's not like they would have to do a whole lot. They could just take a Demona sculpt, uh, give her darker hair, and maybe make a few other changes. And so anyway, but as you can see, the paint on this Demona is kind of sloppy on her tiara very you got red paint spatter from her hair all along the edge of the tiara uh, you got blue paints or I guess it was originally a blue sculpt so you got the purple from her wings didn't even go all the way up to the uh, edge Uh, her earring isn't completely painted. Uh, her head, it, it's supposed to turn, but it can't because the wings are in the way. Uh, and I would not want to move those wings for fear I might break them. But overall, even on the back side of the wings, the black, uh, sloppy along the edge here and not covered all the way on the tips. But overall, still a fairly decent pop. Uh, I was a big fan of Gargoyles growing up. Loved watching it. Uh, eventually, I do plan on getting the entire series on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, I believe I have Season 2, Volume 2 right now. Uh, I'd like to get the entire series and watch it from beginning to end. Of course... A lot of Star Trek The Next Generation cast members actually did the voices for the characters on this show, uh, which is really awesome. Being a fan of Star Trek The Next Generation myself, uh, I find that really cool. Uh, Demona was actually voiced by Marina Sardiz, who played Deanna Troy on, the, on Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, Ed Asner voiced Hudson. Uh, see Keith David voiced Goliath Jonathan Frakes voiced David Xanatos and Frank Welker voiced Bronx so that that's pretty cool uh, there were a few other names of people who uh, a few other voice actors on there uh, but those are the main ones that really stand out uh, next time I did just order Goliath off of Amazon. Next week we will be taking a look at Goliath. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.